Okay guys, good morning. This video is going to be on the removal of a McPherson strut from the front of a vehicle. This vehicle is a Volkswagen Polo. Um, I know we did a previous video on the strut removal, but this one is slightly different. Okay, I'm going to show you the differences very soon. But the first thing, well the reason why we're replacing this is due to the broken spring which has also damaged the uh, the strut mount there as well. It has burns and stuff in it. You can just see the burns there. Most of them have probably fell out. So the spring has broken and damaged the burn. And that's the reason why we're replacing it. Okay. So it'll be the same procedure as the previous video. We're, we'll remove our drop link here. We'll remove off our uh, brake sensor wire. Off the bracket. And it'll come off the switch here. We'll remove our brake hose through this wee clip and we'll remove the ABS sensor wire which is also just here. Okay, so I'm just going to go and get my tools and equipment. Okay, so the tools and equipment required for this job is a flathead screwdriver, an M14 which is a multi spline deep 16mm impact socket, deep 18mm impact socket, air gun or electric gun, hammer and WD-40. And the first thing I like to do is get the WD-40 and we'll spread on any of the nuts and bolts required to come off. Just be careful you don't get that anywhere near the brakes, okay? And the next task is to take off that we clip with a flathead screwdriver. Okay. And then that should pop back. So just to remove this wee bracket, I also had to get a 10 millimeter. And you can see, I'm just taking that off. It allows me to um, tap down the strut out of the actual hub. That's the main difference in this in this video. Okay, so it gets stuck there. Basically, on the inside of the uh, drop link, you have a thorax. So usually, what you would do then would be you would put your your spanner over and put your thorax on the inside of it. But this one was so stuck that I had to use a pair of face grips on it. Sometimes that's the case. So I've got the face grips on the back and buzzed that off with a gun. So now I'm just able to take the drop link nut off and take the drop link right out then. Okay. The next step then was to take out the, the multi spline. And I've already pre listened this as well. The multi spline out that's what holds the, the strut into the actual hub. And then the next step, then, is that's just next step is to tap the hub down so the strut will come out of the hub. Okay, so now you can see the actual strut is removed from the hub. Um, and to do that, I just had to tap that down. Now, one of the safety precautions you need to take here is not to allow that drive shaft to come out of the gearbox. Okay, so you just sort of set this to the side. The next step now is to take the strut out of the vehicle. And to do that, we need to bring the vehicle down, pop the bonnet. Okay, so we've now got the bonnet popped. And as you can see, we have one, two, three bolts here which hold that strut to the vehicle. Now, what I don't want anyone to ever do is see that center nut in there. I don't want anyone to remove that. Basically what that does is that holds the spring and compression on the strut. So if you remove that, that spring will oscillate and it can be very, very dangerous. So all we have to do is remove these three nuts and that should remove the strut from the vehicle. Okay, so now you can see the strut out of the vehicle. And what we're going to do, just keep an eye for the next video, is we're going to remove 
this spring and replace it of the McPherson strut. So again, I just want to recap. Basically, you move your drop link and the electrical connectors connected to your strut. You would take out the bolt that holds the strut into the hub and that hub needs to be tapped down to remove the strut from the hub. Set the hub to the side. Don't allow the the drive shaft to come out of the gear box. And then all that really leaves in is your three top top bolts out. As you can see, these bolts are pretty rusted. So I'll clean them up and give them a bit of grease for copper slip. Hope you enjoyed this video. And keep an eye out for the, for the next one on a spring removal. Thank you.